the new Green Lantern Corps movie will have Tom Cruise as Hal Jordan. Tom Cruise, Hal Jordan. Anybody? 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 Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. So we haven't had a Green Lantern in a movie since Green Lantern 2011 with Ryan Reynolds as Hal Jordan. Brightest day, blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! And as the DCU continues to build, we still haven't had a Green Lantern Corps movie yet. We will, though, have a Green Lantern Corps HBO Max show. The HBO Max show will follow Guy Gardner, Jessica Cruz, Simon Bass, Alan Scott, and Sinestro as the main characters for the Green Lantern HBO Max series. Currently, there's no real traction on that, only that they're still developing it. Finn Whitrock has been cast as Guy Gardner. Jeremy Irvine has been cast as Alan Scott. But other than that, we haven't heard any Anything about the Green Lantern Corps show more than just the concept, tone, the epicness. That's about it. There is nothing more. But what's even more mysterious is where is Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart? Or even Kyle Rayner for that matter. Because the show is focusing on the other Green Lanterns, will those main lanterns actually be in the background? Are they not going to be the main leads for the show? Where are the main Green Lanterns? Now once upon a time, David Goyer was going to make a Green Lantern lantern movie in what deadline had called the new version described as lethal weapon in space and it's based on a comic book origin story the focus will be on two characters hal jordan and john stewart the latter is an african-american marine sniper before he joined the lantern corps and the story very much focuses on his relationship with jordan and the corps in fact the idea back then was that it was going to be a older hal jordan training a younger john stewart and years ago i'm talking about like 2017 2018 there was many rumors around and many scoopers qualified that they were actively looking at none other than tom cruise to play hal jordan a rumor that was so popular that even ryan reynolds put him in his little snyder cut spoof putting him as like the hal jordan green lantern for Zack snyder's justice league and replacing the green lantern 2011 film with tom cruise instead at first serving as a mere joke but tom cruise has relayed that he was interested in that role if the story was right and even at that time the director of the recent mission impossible movies christopher mcquarrie was trying to pitch a green lantern and and a Superman story to the studio. That kind of fell through. So even at that time, we thought maybe Tom Cruise was done. That was the extent of his role as Hal Jordan. But according to the leaker, My Time to Shine Hello, War Brothers still wants Tom Cruise to play Hal Jordan, which I would take that with a huge grain of salt, but would like to discuss that it does seem like Warner Brothers is still going with their old original plans that has begun after the 2017 Justice League. Older Hal Jordan training a younger Jon Stewart. What I mean by that is looking at the Forbes article back in August of 2018, Mark Hughes wrote this, Warner goes all in on women superheroes with new Supergirl movie. And then within that article, he said this, consider there are 16 total movies that have either already been released, are in production, are about to enter production, or could be considered likely to materialize upcoming projects. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman 1984, Joker, Birds of Prey, The Flash, Suicide Squad 2, The Batman, Batgirl, Supergirl, Green Lantern Corps, and New Gods. Now we know New Gods have been taken off the list so far, and Ava DuVernay is just concentrating on Naomi for now, but they do plan to revisit that later on. But looking at that list, all of that has come true and is coming true, especially the remarks about Batgirl and Supergirl. So even though we like to think that DCEU is constantly changing, it seems like they're still going with the original plan from 2017. And that could include the Green Lantern Corps movie and not just the HBO Max series. And the Green Lantern Corps HBO Max series would either be a spin-off or a lead up to the actual Green Lantern Corps movie that has Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. Then that effectively could mean that Tom Cruise, who was on the short list of actors to play Hal Jordan, older Hal Jordan, 
Gordon could still be actively sought for that role. Before you say Tom Cruise is too old, yeah, he's like 59, but if you're looking for an older Hal Jordan, there is nobody better to do action and stunts and in better shape than Tom Cruise. This is not a knock on them wanting an older Hal Jordan, but this is a praise for Tom Cruise himself. That guy is phenomenal wherever you put him in. What do you think? Do you think they're going to continue that older Hal Jordan training a younger John Stewart Green Lantern Corps movie? But what do you think about Tom Cruise possibly playing Hal Jordan in a future Green Lantern Corps movie? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.